moving on from there, from pitching, let's move over to our favorite DFS hitting picks for Wednesday, June 28th, 2017. Yesterday was a fairly good day. I mean, uh, the guys that we suggested, um, I think, had pretty solid games. Nothing over the top, <clears throat> um, but everything kind of went how I figured it was going to. And believe me when I tell you, if you get <clears throat> 20 nights like that a year in baseball, you're probably uh, sitting pretty at the end of the year. So I'll take the good nights uh, like last night and be very thankful that I was able to pick up the game script. Uh, I don't know why, like I've said before, I just really like 15 game slates. I just really, uh, for whatever reason, seem, things seem to click more on those days. Sundays are another slate I like, but they just don't ever seem to go as planned. You get a lot more variance, it seems, on Sundays. It'd be great to have the time to do a study like that just to see, you know, if that's true or if it's just in my head. But want to talk uh, hitters today. Don't have as many games, but I think we still have plenty of options to choose from. There's actually not a ton of like over the top solid options. One of the guys I have on my list, uh, I'm really hesitant to throw out there, so I think I'm going to avoid him. But if you read the article, and I, I start my articles at 7:05 p.m. the night before. That's every. That's when the games start. And I'm typically done between 8 or 8.15 because I have spreadsheets to kind of consolidate the research for me. And I had Ryan Healy as one of my top infielders. And he hit a grand slam last night. So I'm a little bit, uh, I've mentioned pretty much every time it happens on the podcast. It's just with home runs being so unpredictable, it's tough for me to have faith. Especially with a guy like Healy who has 18 freaking home runs this year um, that it's going to happen again, but the matchup is definitely there. Let's start things off with Salvador Perez tonight. 7,600 fantasy draft, 3,200 fan duel, 3,800 draft kings. And Perez is a guy that we're really catchers in general are guys that we don't talk about much unless their name is Gary Sanchez. Uh, but Perez is still a, a very strong catching option, and there's not many sites where you don't have to play a catcher. So to hear some positive information about one of them, I think definitely can go a long way. Perez is taking on Daniel Norris, and I actually like Daniel Norris uh, quite a bit. He'll be a guy I do uh, take in some tournament lineups tonight. But he's allowing a 35.2 fly ball rate, 41.5% hard contact. Perez is one of those guys that even though he's one of the premier catchers in terms of his ability to hit, just flies under the radar because he play, plays for a team that can't score too much. It's unexciting. The lineup composition isn't really favorable to daily fantasy. But I don't care because if this guy goes out there and comes through with a home run and a double like he very well could tonight, you're going to be way ahead of the rest of the field who will have guys like Gary Sanchez and Wilson Contreras and things like that. Maybe not Contreras tonight, but just to serve a point on a larger basis, I think you can definitely use a guy like Perez and it gets you some points in the uh, game theory category. Moving on from there, uh, I do want to get some exposure against Trevor Bauer. He's not a horrible pitcher. In fact, he's had some pretty strong outings naturally after I dropped him in my season-long league of record. Um, I'm at the point where I have to do the same with uh, Julio Tehran. But, you know, Mazzara can definitely take a hold of him. Bauer, 38.3% fly ball rate, 36% hard contact to lefties. Mazzara's been raking pretty well as of late, uh, you know, after a big game on... Monday, the Rangers came back down to earth last night. So I think that not saying we're going to see an offensive explosion today, but I think we'll see more of a leveling out there. And as the summer months kind of get a little bit warmer in Northeast Ohio, you are going to start to see more favorable hitting conditions being 45 minutes from Youngst from Cleveland in Youngstown. Um, I definitely can feel the stickiness coming. And I think that's when you're really going to get your best baseball. Guy I really don't like to go to uh, very often because he's another one of those guys where I just can't seem to get him right. But let's rock some Mookie bets tonight. Nine, a 9,900 fantasy draft, 3,900 FanDuel, 5K draft kings. Again, with pitching not really being that high priced unless you're going for Strasburg or Darvish. 
At 3,900 on FanDuel, I would expect Betts to be a fairly popular option going up against Alberto Maesia. And really, Maesia's stats aren't, like, damning. They're not like a guy who's giving up a close to 400 Woba, a 40% and a 40%. He's at 350 Woba, 35.7% fly ball rate, 36.8 hard contact. But it doesn't matter because teams are scoring against him. So I know that I came out (laughs) and in the article, if not the video the other day, specifically called out the fact that things set up well for uh, you know, the Red Sox against Parker Bridwell, but I have no faith that they're going to come through. And I was right. I mean, you got a, a solo dong from Leon, a solo dong from Moreland. Otherwise, Bridwell moves a 3-0. and But I like these guys tonight. I think they're going to be able to come through. I was, uh, I, was a, I don't, don't want to say lucky, but, you know, it's always moderately irritating when you play Chris Young because he's going up against a lefty, and then the lefty gets pulled after Chris Young can't do anything against him. And then he hits a home run against a right-hander. And you're just kind of like, well, what the hell? Like, I did all this research, and he got his home run, but it wasn't based off any of the research I did. Nonetheless, I'll take it. He had a really good game. I could see Betts doing the same thing tonight. And like I said, on FanDuel, that price isn't prohibitive whatsoever. Thanks for watching our fa- three of our favorite tournament plays. Once again, Salvador Perez, Nomar Mazzara, Mookie Betts. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Check us out at researchfantasy.com. Follow us on Twitter at Research and Win, and join us again tomorrow.